Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my March update to the Paranormal Pantivity Project Pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies Club that was created by Andrea, and I have all of the information linked down below. This started on September 24th of last year, goes to September 24th of this year, because that is National Ghost Hunting Day. For this project, Andrea created 31 prompts that are all about spooks, spirits, and specters. You could start off with six prompts at a time, or you can roll in as many as you wanted. I decided to start off with all 31 prompts at the very beginning. As of the last update, I had hit my goal on 11 prompts, and I do have a couple more goals met. So let's go ahead and start at the top of the list. I'm only gonna be showing you the products that I have progress to show you, but if you're curious about what products are in this project, be sure to check in my description box because I have everything listed out there. So the first one that I was working on was for White Lady, a product that's white or with white packaging. For that, I rolled in my NYX Pore Filling Primer. As of the last update, I had used it 34 times to get down to here. I've used it 12 more and I am down to here. As you can see, I am squeezing every bit out of it. I'm down to this last part at the bottom where I'm having to squeeze the sides to get product out. I am at 46 uses and I think for sure this one will be a empty for the next update. The next prompt was Screaming Skulls, a Halloween or scary themed product. For that, I rolled in my Pacifica 7 Free Nail Color in the shade Swamp Thing. As of the last update, I had used this one time, and over the past month, I have used this an additional three times. This is what it looks like right here. I did talk about this in my Project Panicure update. This is a beautiful color. I did find a glitter polish that I could top over this. It was a gorgeous combination. So I am at four out of my five uses. I have one more use to go until I can roll this one out of the project. The next prompt was Dybbuk, a product still in its box. For that, I rolled in my Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Garden Perfume. I did decant this into a sprayer because I much prefer to apply perfumes that way. So this was brand new when I rolled it into the project. It filled up to here, and I have used it eight times over the past month, and I am right here. So this is a very nice, light scent. I do like it. Eight uses, and I think this one will be an empty for the next update as well. The next prompt was Necromancy, a product you haven't used in a long time. For me, that is my Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. As of the last update, I had used it 61 times to get down to here. I've used it 26 more and I am right there. So I am at 87 uses so far. This wasn't brand new when I put it into the project. I do really like this powder. This is how much I have left. So we'll see how long it takes me to finish up this one. Next is Urban Legend, a product that is too good to be true. For me, that is my Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Frizz Control Sculpting Gel. As of the last update, I had used this 39 times to get down to here. I've used it seven more and I am right there. I'm at 46 uses. At the beginning when I rolled this in, I didn't think I'd be able to finish this, but I am not having any trouble at all. I do really like this one. 46 uses, this one's gonna take me probably at least three more months to finish it. Next was the Flying Dutchman, a product you are doomed to pan what feels like forever. For me, that is an eyeshadow from my Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. Some of his eyeshadows take forever to hit pan on. As of the last update, I had used the shade Cone 18 times. Over the past month, I've used it an additional 17, and this is it right here. It still looks barely used. I am at 35 uses. And this is one of those that's going to take forever to hit pan in. So this is perfect for that prompt. So I'll keep track of it and let you know how many uses total it takes me. Next was Domovic, a household spirit in Russian folklore, something that has followed you from house to house. I just chose one of the oldest products I could think of. I have no idea when this came into my collection. This is my Garnier Full Control Anti-Humidity Hairspray. As of the last update, I had used it 14 times to get down to here. Over the past month, I've used it four more, and this is where I am. So 18 uses. It started off, I wanna say at this turquoise line right here, 18 uses to get down to here. You can tell it was in a previous project pan. I am shocked at how much progress I have made. Granted, it has taken me years to get to this point, but I'm happy that I'm getting towards the bottom of this container. 
I do not need hairspray in my collection, so I'm happy that I'm working on that one and that it is getting closer to being an empty. Next was Exorcism, an item you want out of your collection. For me, that was my native body wash in the scent Lavender and Rose. This one does not smell good. It smells better when you're using it, but when you smell it in the bottle, it just smells like bug repellent to me. As of the last update, I had used this one 30 times to get down to here. I used it 13 more and this is an empty. So 30 uses here, 13 here, and I did use it the same amount. This mark probably wasn't correct. I got 43 uses on this and it is out of here. I'm so happy that this one is gone and no longer a part of my collection. So that is a goal met. Next, I have Haunting. It says dupe a product that haunts you or pan something you regret buying. Again, for me, that is my Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette and I was working on the shade Good Morning. As of the last update, I had used this 36 times and over the past month, I have used it an additional 12 and this is it right here. So as you can see, I was finally able to hit pan in this. It took me 48 uses to hit pan in this pink shade. I do pretty much have a dip going from the edge of one side to the other because I've used this all over. So it is thin in a lot of areas. I'm really happy that I have hit my goal on this and now this one can roll out of the project as well. So that is a second goal met for this update. The next prompt is Spirit, a nature themed product. For that, I rolled in my native body wash in the scent Coconut and Vanilla. This was brand new when I rolled it into the project and over this past month, I've used it 14 times and I am right here. This one smells so much better <laughs> than this one. This one smells amazing like the deodorant does and this is my favorite scented deodorant, the Coconut and Vanilla. Amazing, I love this, 14 uses. This one will take me another month, month and a half to finish that up. And I'm realizing that I skipped over a prompt, so let me go back. The prompt, Afterlife, a product past its expiration date. I did have to switch this out as of the last update. I decided to roll in an eyeshadow from the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette in the shade Virgin. I had previously hit pan in this shade for another prompt in the project, and then I rolled it over into this one with the goal to finish it. So this did have pan when I rolled it in for this prompt last month. Over this past month, I have used it an additional 14 times, and this is what it's looking like. So I have expanded the pan quite a bit on this one. I do use this as an all over lid setting shade to set down my eye primer. Just like the shade Good Morning, I have used it from corner to corner, edge to edge. So this one is getting thin around here in the middle. We'll see how long it takes me to finish this one up, but I'm really pleased with the progress that I am making on this eyeshadow. So I have hit two more goals. I have this one as an empty. Oh, and then I also hit pan in the shade Good Morning. I was looking around for another empty container. So two more goals hit. That takes me up to 13 out of 31 prompts with the goal met. For this next update, I think I can have this perfume done right here. I don't think it'll be an issue to have this primer finished. One more use on this nail polish shouldn't be an issue at all. And other than that, I'm not sure if I can have any other goals met. I do see a couple of products in here that I may start working on over this next month as I'm finishing up other products that are competing with them in other projects. So maybe I'll have some new items to show you for the next update. So that is everything that I have for you. Before you go, if you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.